Had to burp. What? Okay, I'll wait. Hi. Hello. Hi, I'm Cody. I look bad. No, you don't. You look cute. No, I don't. I look fucking garbage. Stop. Okay. So, we're trying to find stuff today. Texas is really fucking strange because it seems like we either hit the jackpot or we don't find anything. Like today, we found this lake after it was suggested to us to come here. It's a pretty lake, I guess, but... It's just a hole full of water and everything else is just yellow and dry. And that's kind of a nightmare scenario for me as a photographer because... Uh, I don't know if it's just a Canon problem or if it's an all-around digital photography problem, but I really don't like the way that yellows come across in pictures. And I tend to isolate them out of my images when I'm editing. And when everything is fucking yellow, I can't really do that because then everything just becomes gray except the subject. And then your picture looks like a selective coloring shot. Take that cold, please. Yeah, they were all yellow. All you need to know about Texas is that it's yellow. At least in December, it's yellow. So I guess we're gonna continue on this road. That's disgusting. <laughs> you started this video with that. So I guess let's keep going. Everything in my life was fucking dead end. This jerk does this thing. She likes to pretend that I've drugged her when we're in public places. That's not no, that's not what I do. I fall on the ground and you say that it looks like I'm Yes, it does look like you're drugged. I'm not trying to look like I'm drugged. Just laying on the ground, so you have to put me in the car. Get in the car. You have to help me. <laughs> See what she does? Get up. You can't get the rest? Yeah, this doesn't look like you're fucking drugged at all. There's people fucking looking. Where? Right there in that car. What car? That fucking silver car there. Why? I swear to God. What are you doing? I've got you in. Okay, I just shut it on it. Okay, I'm gonna need you to sit back. You look drugged. You know how you look. I'm sleeping. What are you doing? Give me it. No. There's this person on YouTube I literally can't stand. Who? <laughs> how did I know that that's what you were gonna pull up? Well, fuck. Today was supposed to be Q&A day, but... Pickle, you might recall a few videos ago, we were in Little Rock, Arkansas. Gotta love the South. You gotta love the South. Mm -mm. I woke up yesterday to a text from my bank, and it said, Hey man, uh, we've detected some suspicious activity, um, so we put a hold on your account. Call us. Oh yeah, well, we were in Little Rock, so... Um, it probably wasn't suspicious. Oh, to be so blissfully naive. I said, well, wait a second. Can you tell me my balance? Because I bank with an archaic bank system that doesn't have online checking. Ooh. They're like, sure. Just give us the last four numbers of your social security number. And I was like, okay, they are. <laughs> the balance did not match what was in my head, which I was sure of because I've called them every single day of this trip just to make sure so i was like okay um 
well, can you tell me what the suspicious activity was? She said, okay, uh, in Little Rock, Arkansas, there was a purchase at a Walmart. Instantly knew some bullshit had come because I did not go to Walmart. There was a purchase for $353 uh, for some stereo equipment, specifically a CD player and a set of speakers. Take a look at my car. You really think I'm gonna waste money on a goddamn CD player for a 2006 Ford Taurus with 160,000 miles and an inability to climb up even the smallest hill? Come on now. So, I told the bank teller, yeah, that wasn't me. Um, what can we do about this? And she said, okay, you have two options. The first option is we can put an immediate hold on this payment and contact the Walmart, explain the situation. However, this will suspend your account for up to 90 days. You won't be able to have access to your account until the situation is resolved. When I asked why, she said, that's just our policy. You can come in if you want to, and perhaps we can keep your account open, but you have to do it in person. We can't verify it over the phone. And I said, great, I'm in Texas. How am I supposed to do that when there's one bank location that I can go to? She said, okay, well, Option number two, you can wait till you get home, come into the bank and talk to us and we will do the same thing. However, by then the funds will have been released to Walmart and it will be significantly, if not impossible, to get your money back. Now, this isn't some sob story. It doesn't really fuck up the trip all that much. We're still heading out to New Orleans tomorrow. Nothing has really changed. It's just so damn frustrating. And I feel kind of an obligation to tell you guys when stuff happens. This is obvious for the good things. When we have good days, I want to show you that stuff because those days kick ass. And I love editing videos about good days. But I feel obligated to tell you when bad shit happens because in a lot of ways I feel totally indebted to you people. This trip in its entirety would not have happened if it wasn't for you. Future experiences like this won't be likely to happen without you. So I feel the need to give you both the good and the bad. I don't need a comment section full of people telling me what I should do because I've already got it figured out. Uh, the person that used my information can't do it anymore. What happened was either at the restaurant we went to, the movie theater we went to, or the gas station we went to, which is the one that I suspect. One of those three locations had a debit card skimmer and I don't know what it is about the South but I've been here twice in the last year and two times in two different states south of the Mason-Dixon line this has happened it happened to me in Florida and now it happened to me in Arkansas I don't know what the problem is down here I don't know why they're so prevalent and I don't know why I keep falling victim to them every time I come down but what can you do it happened uh, so that's about it, really. Um, I'm not letting this ruin the trip. It's just something that I felt obligated to tell you guys. I'm not going to be able to dispute the claim until I get home, and it's probably going to be a giant headache. But it's something I'm going to have to do and take care of then, because there's nothing I can do from here. The, the only option I have is that, because otherwise I can't have access to my money at all, and then suddenly I'm stuck in Texas. I don't want to get stuck here. Texas is pretty cool, but I don't want to be here forever. I don't want to get stuck here. I got Christmas stuff to do with the fam, and I'm pretty sure my mom would have a coronary if I didn't show up. Every day, it's the same thing. She sends me messages on Facebook saying things like, I don't know how you're gonna make it home in time. It's now the 13th, it's now the 14th, it's now the 15th, you have places to go still. How are you gonna get home before Christmas, Cody? If you're not here for Christmas, I'm sending your presents back. Like, mother, I will be there. Barring an act of God, I will fucking be there. You don't need to tell me every day what day it is, Mom. I, I know. So that's the situation. Um, I had a conversation with Rebecca last night and it kind of lifted some weight off of my shoulders a little bit because she gave me a perspective that I hadn't necessarily considered. And here's the thing, ever since we took off on the very first day, I have busted my ass every single waking moment of my life to put content out. I've been doing videos, I've been doing photos, I've been writing. Uh, I've been trying to put out as much as I possibly can because I want you guys to feel like it was worth it in the end. 
I haven't let myself have a single moment of downtime. Even when I'm just sitting there trying to go to sleep, I'm thinking up things that I can do the next day. Uh, I'm very focused and I'm, I'm happy to be. However, I've kind of neglected some of the other stuff I like to do. Like, I haven't done any portraits at all since I've been here. I'm here with a beautiful girl, haven't done any fucking portraits with her at all. Which seems like a sin to me. She told me at the bar last night, um, I don't think people give a shit what kind of content you put out. As long as you're putting content out. You can do mostly the abandoned stuff, but you can do just regular vlogs. People like that stuff too. People like you when they watch your videos. It doesn't really matter what you're doing, just that you're doing stuff. So today we might go to Dallas and I might do a portrait shoot with her. Take a step back, a step away from, damn, I should have I should have framed this whole video like this. God damn it. Anyway, uh, I can do that and it'll still be just as, as fun for people. Um, hopefully. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll upload the video for today when I upload it tomorrow. It's so confusing. When I upload today's video tomorrow, maybe people will be like, ugh, dude, none of this. Stop doing this. Tomorrow we wake up at the ass crack of dawn and head the eight and a half to nine hours toward New Orleans. Wish us luck on that. Uh, Betsy is acting really weird. We're on total flatland right now. And sometimes when I'm driving, it still feels like we're going uphill, even though we're not. So I'm a little worried about that, because I got, let's see, we got nine hours tomorrow, I got 16 hours to get her back to Pittsburgh, and then I got 10 hours to get back to Iowa, all before Christmas Eve, when my family opens presents. <sighs> it's gonna be fun. <laughs> uh, happy holidays, everybody. Um, goodbye.